Well, our next guest says European bank stocks are almost back to 2009 lows. He is Stephen Englander, global head of G10 FX Strategy at Citigroup. He joins me now from the New York Stock Exchange. Talk to us about your perspective on the banks. Well, what we see is, is that there's a lot of pressure here. Uh, the bank stocks, they, they hit a low around 85. They went up to 250. They're back to around 110. It clearly is impinging on the currency. We're seeing French spreads against Germany um, wide into the widest levels in 16 years. And the FX market is reacting. I, I think that the, um, there's distress with that the uh, European sovereign issue has spread from being Portugal, Italy, and Greece, then uh, Spain, then um, Ireland, and now it's hitting, uh, hitting France. And yet S&P today reiterates its AAA credit rating of France. Do you agree with that decision? Well, um, I'm not the, the bank's analyst at the city. Uh, what I can see is that the FX market is uncertain about that decision, and the CDS market is, price, is pricing in French CDS uh, at higher levels than many uh, single-A or double-A um, countries. So the market doesn't agree with that decision, you know, even, even if it may be justified at the end of the day. Stephen, I wanted to break in here. You know, um, Adam and I were talking to Dave Harrow, who uh, is a big, uh, very bullish on BNP Paribas in particular. Um, any sense there as to whether or not we're seeing a, is the is that stock oversold? I mean, can you put Society Generale in the same category as the rest of the French banks at this point? Uh, I'm, I'm the last one you should be asking about individual bank stocks. I, I think the euro, though, is punching above its weight, given the concern that there is about uh, European banks and European sovereign debt. But I'll leave it to my colleagues to talk about individual banks. Let Are me, you can, yeah, Lisa. Go ahead, Adam. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, at, at this point, then, it, put it, put it in, in, in plain terms, just euro terms, currency terms, euro currency terms. Is the euro trading where it should be, given all this concern, or does it weekend versus a dollar? Um, I think it should be trading below 140. And, you know, 135 to 140, I think, is the correct range for now. And if the distress continues, it could go lower. I, I think that the market is looking for the ECB and European policymakers to be more aggressive more quickly um, than they show any intention of doing. And they're, you know, punishing um, financials and they're punishing sovereign debt and they're ultimately going to punish the currency for it. And that also means the dollar probably strengthens. Uh, against the euro, I, I think that the, the world does not want to buy dollars. I think they buy dollars because the dollar is the financing currency for a lot of the long positions that are out there if you're international investors. So when you get worried about the state of the world, you get worried about asset markets, you close your longs, it means you have to buy back the dollars that you've sold. Um, that the euro falls against the dollar is not the end of the world. It's, you know, dollar and euro will fall together. All right, a huge currency market, Dr. Englander. Thank you for joining us, making sense of it for us. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thank you.